Hi kids, welcome to our session in English 7, module 7, day 2, and join me to uncover declarative sentence. And for our lesson objectives, at the end of the lesson, we'll be able to unscramble a set of words to form meaningful sentences, formulate meaningful declarative sentences, and use declarative sentences effectively and appropriately in varied contexts. Recall a significant concept that you've learned from the previous lesson. React by choosing an emoji. Create an expression or a sentence to explain your reaction. Indeed, the previous lesson involves a series of emotions or mixed emotions that help us to comprehend the importance of it. Now, let's rearrange each set of words to form a sentence. You have it there, words, died, this means half of the 30 years, world's corals, over, just. I want you to unscramble the set of words to form a meaningful sentences. Take note, you have there a sample. This means that half of the world's corals just died over 30 years. To answer, all you have to do, just capital the first letter of the word and don't forget to put punctuation mark no need for you to capitalize all the letters and let's begin provides the documentary to save suggestions our environment marine The documentary provides suggestions to save our marine environment. Okay, correct. Next, for the, the anemone provides clownfish and protection. Okay, it's correct. Are turning corals because white gets sick and they... Correct! Congratulations! In the previous lessons, we've learned about phrases and clauses, and we need these skills in writing sentences. Sentences are meant to express oneself and use them in various purposes. So, a simple sentence contains a single subject and predicate. Any independent clause can stand alone as a sentence. It is a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. 
it would be helpful to recall the types of sentences. You took this up in your previous levels, right? The four types of sentences according to use are declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. And the four types of sentence according to structure are simple, compound, complex, and compound complex. Today, we'll dwell again with simple and compound sentences, while complex and compound complex sentences will be tackled in progression as we go along in our journey in learning grade 7 English. If a sentence aims to make a statement about a fact, make a point, or state an idea that is called a declarative sentence. This type of sentence helps you develop your ideas. If you want to state something is, then use declarative sentence. Remember, declarative sentence ends with a period. Examples, the increase in greenhouse gases emission results to global warming. That's a declarative sentence and it's stating a fact. Saving our marine environment means acting now before it's too late. It's a declarative sentence. It's because it is making a point. The documentary reveals the crucial role of corals in our marine ecosystem. It's a declarative sentence. It's because it is stating an idea. Now let's try. You have to determine whether the following declarative sentences is stating a fact, making a point, or stating an idea. Water warmer than normal by 2 degrees in the Pacific resulted to the death in microscopic algae. Is it a fact, point, idea? We should all help to curb global warming. Okay, congratulations. Global bleaching first occurred between 1997 and 1998. This earth is beautiful and it will always be when we all help to protect it. People should observe the right practices in saving our marine environment. Okay, now let's have types of declarative sentences. Simple declarative sentences, you have it there, he plays, she laughs, the motorbike is gray, James is happy. So you have there a subject and a predicate. And for compound declarative sentences, you wanted to visit her grandmother, but she wanted to visit her aunt. Jason wants to do well in his studies, yet he doesn't work hard. We've noticed that for compound declarative sentences, there's two clauses. Independent clause and dependent clause. Now let's have this one. Identify if the given sentence is simple declarative or compound declarative. Our car broke down. Correct. We were lost in the woods but my brother had a map in his backpack. Correct. It's compound declarative. Demonstrations lasted for two days. The town was under siege. Congratulations. It's correct. It's compound declarative. He loves music. 
It's a simple declarative sentence. Now, we'll formulate a declarative sentence by using the words that follow, which is taken from the article. Environment. Protection. Global warming. And to sum up, writing is one of the marker skills you need to develop as you go along in your studies. A lot of students find it difficult to write, but if you know how to write a sentence, it is a lot easier. Sentences are meant to express yourself clearly as you use them in various purposes. That ends our session hope that you've learned something today thank you for listening and i'll see you in our next virtual class bye